Hey, Lena from the Essentials Nutrition. And today I want to talk about the perfect post-COVID diet for recovered patients. And in general for a strong immune system and also if you don't have COVID yet and you want to strengthen your immune system and get healthy and stay healthy, which is very important these days, then I have some great news and some great helpful tips for you today. So let's go straight into it. The first thing I recommend for a strong immune system and for recovered patients is to eliminate all processed foods. You don't have to eat anything. You shouldn't eat anything which comes in packages and with ingredients on the list. So it's all from industrial production and you don't want to have those chemicals and Yes, it's just not real food, you know, and you shouldn't eat it. And especially if you want to stay healthy and get healthier and get strong, then you should actually really avoid it. Um, what you should eat instead is whole plant-based foods. You should really focus on whole plants, all kinds of veggies, all kinds of fruits, nuts, seeds. I will explain it a little bit deeper later. But you also have to focus on the quality of the food you eat. Make sure it's ripe, it's organic in the best case. If you can get organic fruits and vegetables, this would be perfect. And it must be fresh. So fresh, ripe, organic. This is important as well for your immune system and for your body to be healthy. Then you have to focus on certain vitamins and nutrients, for example, vitamin C, vitamin E and vitamin A is extremely important to get a healthy immune system and to stay strong or for recovery. And also the vitamin D and vitamin B12 is extremely important if you want to get healthy and strong. And the way you can get all these minerals and nutrients and vitamins is to consume more fruit and vegetables, fresh, ripe, whole, organic, plant-based fruits and vegetables. And the first category, which, which is very important and crucial for a strong immune system is greens. So green leafy vegetables, all kinds of different lettuce and you can have big salads and it's also important to rotate your greens. Don't eat spinach all day long, all every day. Don't eat lamb's lettuce only. Don't eat only one sort of lettuce. Just rotate your greens so you make sure you have all the variety you need. And then you should consume things like cucumbers, tomatoes, red bell pepper, which are really high in water and high in vitamins as well. And then there are some more starchy vegetables like carrots, beetroots, pumpkin, all these vegetables that are a little bit dense, more dense. You should consume them as well every single day because they are also a great source of vitamin A and K and C, all the important vitamins you need for a strong immune system. And then there are the so-called crucifer vegetables. It's broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. And those are actually also very important and crucial for a strong immune system and for recovery after a COVID infection. They will deliver you all the things you need to be healthy. And additional to all the veggies who are very low in calorie but high in nutrients, you have to eat fruits tons of fruits you don't have to restrict yourself don't be afraid of the fruit sugar it's a healthy one it will deliver you all the minerals and vitamins you need and all the calories you need to stay fit and strong and there are the more dense fruits like bananas dates or persimmons and then you have the more yes lighter fruits which are really high in water like oranges or melons and you should eat both it's both important and then additional to all your veggies and fruits, you have to combine some nuts and seeds because they're high in protein and high in some special things like zinc, magnesium, calcium and omega-3 fatty acids, which is also very important. So just make sure you don't over consume nuts and seeds because then you have too much fat in your diet and this can actually cause many problems and don't help you out with getting stronger and fit and healthy. And then you can add some things like 
sprouts. Sprouting is actually really helpful because sprouts are nutrient bombs. They are packed with nutrients and easy to make as well. And then you have ginger and turmeric root. Just make sure to use the fresh roots and it's anti-inflammatory food actually. I can use it in teas or just put it in to your salad and I actually eat it raw. I just um, take a ginger root or a, a turmeric root and bite into it and it's for me it's delicious but yes every day a little piece is enough and you will have the anti-inflammatory effect and you should be aware of your carbohydrate intake you should consume 80 percent of your daily calories in form of carbohydrates and i mean healthy carbohydrates from all the foods i mentioned before so fruits veggies and some small amounts of nuts and seeds sprouts yes and seaweed as well you can use seaweed maybe once or twice a week which is really helpful as well for your immune system and then you should only consume 10 percent of your total calories from protein and 10 percent of your total calories from fat and if you consume fruits and vegetables as your main calorie source and then add as i told you the nuts and seeds and some seaweed and a little bit of sprouts and turmeric and ginger then you will have the perfect ratio 80 10 10 carbon hydrates 80 percent protein 10 percent fats 10 percent this is perfect for recovery and this is perfect for a strong immune system and last but not least you should drink enough and you should drink water pure water and also you can have ginger tea or turmeric tea or herbal tea and if you do so if you really focus on your health if you really focus what you put into your body then you will definitely feel much better in a matter of days i promise you and if you're still searching for help and professional support for either your health or your weight loss journey you can reach out to me and you can book your free consultation call I leave the link in the description under this video and then I'm happy to hear from you soon and to talk to you and help you out with the transition to a raw vegan or a vegan plant-based lifestyle in order to feel your best and get the best version of yourself. So that's it for today. See you in my next video. Ciao.